Hello everyone, this is Sherry L, and today we're going to be discussing melasma. And if you don't know what melasma is, melasma is a type of hyperpigmentation due to hormones and sun. And me and Rita are going to be showing you inexpensive ways to help take care of this problem without having to go to the doctor and spending a lot of money. And if you want to learn how to do it, stay tuned. So first we're going to be cleansing Rita's face with Origins Clean Energy Oil. This is a wonderful oil. The beautiful thing about this oil is it's non-communogenic and it helps to break up the dirt and debris that is on your face and it helps to moisturize it. It also helps to take off your eye makeup and condition your eyelashes and condition your, uh, your eyebrows. So that's going to help them grow faster if you don't know that. When you see your eyelash serums, the really expensive ones that they're sell selling for growth, they're using conditioners in them. This has got to be the most wonderful pre-cleansing um, pre-cleanse I have ever used. Okay, now we're going to be washing this off. Now you want to make sure that you go up the face, up the skin. You never want to drag down on your face. How does that feel, Rita? It's wonderful. Whenever I recommend mm -hmm. this cleanser to any of my patients or my clients, I'm sorry, um, whenever I recommend this to any of my patients or any of my clients, they absolutely, positively love it. Mm -hmm. It's better than any eye makeup remover you could ever buy on the market. And where can you get this? You can get this at Origins for $18.95. That's pretty reasonable. It's very reasonable and it lasts forever. And I can't think of a better thing to put on your skin. It has the most beautiful mm -hmm. ingredients Feels I have so ever good. seen in a product. And it's non-communogenic. It won't block your pores. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I use this for chemical peels. When I'm peeling, it helps to reduce inflammation. It helps to uh, take off the exfoliating factors that you have on your face, which is something you're going to be doing if you do have melasma or hyperpigmentation. You're going to be exfoliating. And sometimes you're going to be taking off skin. And sometimes you're going to want to put something on there that's going to help moisturize it, reduce inflammation, and take the debris off your face. And next we're going to be using uh, PCA's oily wash. It's PCA's oily or <laughs> PCA's facial wash oily problem. And the reason we want to use this is because we want to help to bring the pH to about a three. Because when you exfoliate using any type of um, exfoliating a machine or any type of chemicals, you want to make sure your pH is at a certain level. And this has lactic acid, salicylic acid, it's absolutely wonderful. And that's what you want when you're battling any type of hyperpigmentation. Now, where do you get this product? Um, you can get this product from PCA. It is a professional product. And it's absolutely one of the most, the, it's one of the best products I've ever used. I love this product. We use this product at the Skin Place. Mm. It's absolutely wonderful. We use it for chemical peels. We use it for everything. Um, it's a lubricant of some sort? or uh, No, it's a type of cleanser, but mm. it's got exfoliating factors in it that are just beautiful. It feels good on my face. I know. It's absolutely wonderful. Wait till you feel the effects of just this. Okay, now we're going to be using our Clarisonic. Mm. And the wonderful thing about the Clarisonic is that if you have any type of respiratory issues, the vibration and the moving of the brushes helps to break up that lymphatic area that's in this area right here that gets really sore and puffy. And if anybody knows about sore and puffy around their eyes, Rita knows sore and puffy around the eyes. Doesn't that feel wonderful? Oh, yeah. This is one of the best investments that you can make for your skin. And it doesn't matter if you have melasma, if you have 
acne, this machine is a must have. Mm. If you can't afford a Clarisonic, then you can go to Sally's and get a facial brush for $1.79 as long as you're helping to break up and to exfoliate um, the debris on your face. That's what's important. But this thing is beautiful. I've had clients that come in for respiratory facials and after using this um, for a period of time, they've They've actually stopped using their medications. They haven't had to use, take their medications anymore because of the breakup of the lymphatic area right here. Mm. If you think about it, if you have allergies, you're breathing through your nose, and what happens when you breathe through your nose, all the allergens get stuck in this area. Now, if you're breathing through your mouth, it's getting stuck in this area. And then it's supposed to drain down, then it goes into your chest. But if you're not moving that it's going to get stuck there and you're going to have some serious problems. So where you can purchase one of these is you can get one of these at QVC. They're about $219. They have the Mia 1, Mia 2, and then they have the professional one. So there's some broad ranges there. I believe they have them on two flex pays right now. And now we're going to be using one of my favorite tools. It's called the PMD. It's the Personal Microdermabrasion System. I absolutely love this machine. Not only is it inexpensive, but it also works. So let's get started. First we're going to start with the neck and you want to make sure that you hold the skin taut and you want to go up the skin. That feels good. And you want to make sure you do not press down. You let it guide itself. Now we're going to hold the skin taut. We're going to go up the face. Does that hurt, Rita? No. If this machine is done right, you can have miraculous results with this machine. I absolutely love it. I always do the lip and the chin and the nose last. Now when you're doing the cheek area, you don't want to go any farther than this right here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our head and let's do this side. Hold the skin taut. Now we're going to be doing the forehead. Now you do not want to go below the eyebrow. Now we're going to be doing the glabella area, which is right here in the middle. That's where you get that furrow, right here. That's the area we're gonna be working on. This is a very congested area. And this helps to move that congestion. And it also helps to help, it also helps to reduce fine lines. Now we're gonna be doing the nose area. This is wonderful for blackheads. And let me tell you something, when I use this machine, I definitely can tell my pores are very reduced with this machine. I absolutely love it. And we're going to be showing you before and after pictures of the results of the PMD. Oh wow, it's just really you got and do not hover in one spot. You can get a sore if you do. Don't do it. Are you still doing okay, Rita? Yes. Yeah. Mm. You want to make sure you get in this area right here. These are your nasal labial folds. And another thing, right around the lips. I love doing the lip area. When you get those little blackheads around your lips, oh my gosh. And I always do the lip area a couple of times. Now you can do that if you let it guide itself. Do not push. Now we're going to be doing the chin. This, oh my goodness, look at that stuff come, oh my gosh, I 
I'm sorry, I can't help it. I get excited every time I use this thing. Especially when I see all this dead skin coming off. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I get so excited. Oh honey, you're gonna have all kinds of dead skin. This is amazing. And I am not a paid endorser of this product. I just firmly believe in it. You ought to see all the dead skin coming off. I'm going to bring a close-up on this, and I'm going to show you what this machine is doing right now as we speak. All right, let's bring Rita in closer so you can see her chin. Okay, go ahead and lift your chin up. Do you... Okay. Can you see any of that white stuff there? I'm going to have to wipe it off. But literally, it's just so wonderful. Okay, go ahead and let's let's go ahead and do a little bit more. Now we're going down the face. This is kind of what we call cross hatching. You go up and then you go down. You go in one direction, you go in another. Down, 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 down. Yeah, you, you want to go in opposite directions than what you did. And Rita says it feels good. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. That's what we want to hear. We definitely don't want to hear that it hurt. You have to use this machine properly. Now, before you use this machine, you need to do a patch test. And the best place to do a patch test is right here. So if it gets a little bit pink, then you're probably going to be a little bit sensitive, so be careful. If it takes longer to be pink, then you're probably going to be okay. So just use precaution with this machine, as with any machine. All right, let's do the other side. Now it is going to be a little bit pink, and that's to be expected. <laughs> Rita looks like she's almost ready to fall asleep. <laughs> See, so it must not be that bad. <laughs> okay. Now this is the time that you want to put on your serums because you're going to have a 50% penetration process when you take off that stratum corneum, which mm. is wonderful. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to rinse her face off. And what I love about this machine mm. is that it uses aluminum oxide crystals, which I absolutely love. What does that mean, the crystals? Um, it's a type of crystal that's used in professional machines, mm. um, in doctor's offices, because what it does is, is it's a type of exfoliation, and it's my favorite because I can use it on anybody. When I use the diamond tips, which I love, but people have reactions to what the, uh, the uh, diamond tip is made of. And so, and, and with these, I haven't had any reactions to the metal because I'm not using metal. I'm using a plastic, I'm using a plastic thing right here with the little area right here. Yeah. Now, if you watch my other video, I will show you how to put this together, how to use it and educate you on it. I have another video on this. So if you want to learn more about it, you can also watch that video as well. But today we're going to be covering uh, melasmic because... I don't know about Rita, but a lot of my clients, um, they have a lot of self-esteem issues because of this type of disorder. And it's very prevalent in the Asian population, the Hispanic population, Mediterranean, Greek, Italian. And people, let me give you a word of advice. Do not have laser treatments if you're if you have any of these back, if you're from any of these backgrounds, because what happens with melasma is it's an inflammatory response to trauma. And when you're having laser, that's exactly what happens to your skin. You have an inflammatory response. I have seen videos and I have seen people that have been told, oh, have a laser treatment for this stuff. And it makes it 10 times worse. And if they didn't have melasma before, they have it after the laser treatment. I've seen horror story after horror story. So the way that I'm showing you by using retinoids and by using a microdermabrasion system, 
that is the safest way to go about taking care of melasma okay it's all about cell turnover and exfoliation that's what it's all about now if you've already got it you might not get rid of it all the way but you can at least lighten it and you can keep it at least at bay and please make sure you use your sunscreen that's another big thing making sure you use your sunscreen to inhibit it from happening what happens is, is you have a melon what happens is, is when there's trauma to the area melanin is deposited and it starts leaking and then what happens, like when you're young, um, you're getting all that sun and that stuff. It, it actually, sometimes hyperpigmentation, the, the trauma might have happened when you were younger, but it doesn't come out until you're older. So, you know, if you're 20 or 30 years old and you're of any of these backgrounds, then you need to start using sunscreen and start taking care of yourself and start mm -hmm. taking care of your skin. I mean, it's never too late to start, but start when you're young. So now this is the best time to put on your serums because you're going to have a 50% uh, penetration into the skin. I know, I almost said the wrong word, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, I can't help myself. That's too funny. Mm. <laughs> that feels good. What is that? This is by Elsie. And this mm. I got from HSN. And it's beautiful. It came with three... It smells wonderful. It came with three serums, a face cream, and an eye cream. And I absolutely love the eye cream. And I love these serums. I've had them before. For $59.99... You can't beat that. You, you One serum costs $50 or even $100 or $200. Mm -hmm. You get three of them. And these have some of the most amazing ingredients I've ever seen. And where do you get those? Uh, you get these from HSN. Okay. And it's called, it's E-L-Y-S-E-E. -E. And, the, and the lady who, the family who designed this product, the woman hasn't aged for 40 years if you look at her Whoa. face. It's so amazing. She's in her 70s. Amazing. Now my favorite thing in the whole world is to use my Garnier um, Skin Renew Anti-Puff Roller. And Rita needs this. <laughs> oh yeah, I use it. How do you like it? I love it. It's the most awesome thing. And already, you can see her congestion going down. Uh, you can see... Yeah, her, they were very puffy before, uh, You can Yeah, with the mm. between the Clarisonic and the... Uh, between the, I'm sorry, between the Clarisonic and the PMD, look how reduced that is. That is amazing. It is completely reduced after all of that. So, this is when you want to put your products on right now. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do a close-up of Rita's skin and see how it looks. Okay, honey, let's go ahead and turn. It's a little bit red. Let's go ahead and turn this way. Now, okay, and we're going to be showing you before and after pictures of her skin of when we started and then after so you can see what the results are.